Kenosha police say a 14 year old is suspected of overdosing on fentanyl. Detectives say it happened earlier this month in Kenosha County. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne shows us why police say this case is far from closed. If you're doing a drug that does not come from a pharmacy, uh, it's likely fentanyl is in it. Kenosha police are still investigating, but they say a 14 year old's overdose earlier this month on the city's south side is likely tied to fentanyl. Is that concerning to the department? Absolutely, it's concerning to uh, Kenosha County as a whole. Public yeah, information wrong. officer uh, Joseph so Nosling says so the 14 year old is the youngest overdose victim he's come across in his 24 years with the department. He says the county has seen a steady increase in fentanyl deaths from three in 2014 to 40 last year. The data that we have so far would suggest that we will likely exceed uh, what we did last year. This sign behind me may be difficult to read, but one mother says more needs to be done in education before another life fades with this epidemic. The education is lacking and we need our schools, our administrators, other families. We need the stigma to end. Erin Rockwell lost her son Logan to fentanyl poisoning last year on Valentine's Day. He was a student at UW-Milwaukee. Rockwell says she's saddened to hear of another young death. We're at war in our own country because some of us, some of us were allowing this to happen, right? So can we stop that? I don't know. Back in Kenosha, police have several overdose cases that remain open. Detectives hope they're closed with dealers and manufacturers in jail. There is a possibility that we could uh, piece together enough pieces of that puzzle to link that person's death back to the person who sold them the, the illegal drug. In Kenosha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thank you. Now, the Kenosha County Medical Examiner says it could take up to four months to get toxicology results back for the 14-year-old who died. In the meantime, police are not releasing any more information about the boy until those results come back.